Hi, I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to your full body stretch. We are going to be doing some great stretches if you're tight or sore, and then at the end, we're gonna be using a bolster here. I've got my Brentwood Home Bolster, which I love because it's non-toxic, and if you don't have one yet, definitely check this one out. I've got a great discount code down below for you, and make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, so I can keep making videos just like this for you. All right, let's get started. Let's begin standing here. Just take a few big inhales in, all the way up. Exhale, release out. Inhale in. Part of stretching is relaxing. So many times we hold a lot of tension in our body because we have a lot of tension in our mind. So when you take those big deep breaths in, and big deep breaths out. This signals to your body that it's time to relax and time to let go. A few more, just like this. Good, take those arms, clasp them up at the top, press up towards the sky, and just take a few side bends, continuing to connect breath to movement, inhaling and exhaling nice and slow just breathing at your own natural rhythm good reach up towards the sky and then take a nice big forward fold over we're gonna hang out here for a couple of seconds and breaths and if it's comfortable for you, clasp onto opposite elbows and let yourself just sway gently side to side. Like a tree branch just swaying in the wind. One more big deep breath in and release. I'm gonna take my hands up towards the top of the mat and step back into a downward facing dog. You can gently get there in your own time. Pedal out the feet, bend the knees, soften through the shoulder, soften through the neck and traps. Feel the spine lengthening. So I want you to focus on elongating every little space in between your vertebrae. And as you breathe deeply, bring that breath to the back, to those back ribs, let them expand wide and lengthen your whole spine as you exhale. Good. Hopefully you're feeling nice and relaxed. And then let's lift this right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Be careful to not totally dump into the shoulders though. Keep some engagement there. And just let the knee and hip open up. Should just feel really good and free. And then bring the right knee up towards the top of the mat. And we're gonna come into our pigeon pose. A really nice relaxing pose here. And what I like to do is I like to take my bolster and I like to rest here in front like this. Good, and let's hold here. You can take in the beautiful waves behind me. Allow yourself to connect with nature, remembering that the source that created nature created us as well. It's a very empowering feeling to connect to nature in that way. Good, and then come on up and then pull the front foot in towards your hip. And we're gonna take a thigh stretch here. So we're gonna pull that back leg up grab onto that heel and just allow this stretch to really open up your shoulder and your chest and then of course also your quad here. Good. 
And if you wanna take a little bit deeper in the thighs, you can begin to pull the foot in closer towards your hip. Good, and release that out. Press the hands back down and towards the floor and then step all the way back up into your downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. Be careful to not dump into the shoulders, but instead keep them nice and engaged, arms straight and strong so that you can be free in the legs. And then swing it forward into your pigeon pose here. Settling in, squaring off the hips, finding a position that's comfortable for you. And then you can lean forward and relax onto your bolster here. And one more big deep breath in. Continuing to settle into your body, allowing the breath to take you deeper. And then come on up, pull the foot in towards your hip, and then that'll create some more space for you to be able to grab the foot behind you. And you could always use a strap here if it's not available to grab onto. And I first like to sit here and just let the foot open up my chest and shoulder. I think it feels really good. So I pull my foot back like this and that helps to open up the chest, lift your heart up towards the sky. Nice, big, deep breath. Remember the breath can really guide you deeper into your body and into the stretch. And then if you want a little extra thigh stretch, then begin to pull the foot into the hip. Good, and then let that go. We're gonna take the hands back down into the floor and come into your downward facing dog again. Good, now we're gonna take the right foot and we're gonna cross it over the left knee. So we're basically taking a figure four stretch here in the downward dog. Now I'm gonna challenge you a little bit and I'm gonna have you walk your hands back towards your feet, just like this. Then you're gonna feel a nice deep stretch right here. I think it feels really good. Keep this foot nice and flexed. And then eventually you can stand all the way up. Nice big inhale in. And then exhale, bend the knee. Keep the hips nice and level. Make sure that knee is over the toes. Slowly and gently come back down to the floor and walk yourself out to downward facing dog. Good, and then back to down dog. Pedal at the feet. And then let's take the other side, left foot over right knee, cross it over, bend the right knee, and slowly walk yourself back to the foot. Good, let the stretch go deeper. Lengthen out in places like your chest and your back. And then slowly, as you find your balance, rise on up. Inhale in. Stretch up through the fingertips and then exhale. Feel yourself expanding beyond your body. Good, hands back to the floor and slowly walk yourself to downward dog again. Nice. It's always fun to challenge your balance and stretch that way, isn't it? All right, so put the knees down and we're gonna come into a nice puppy pose. 
So we're gonna place the elbows down here onto the bolster. And I love this one to really open up the chest and the shoulders. So just allow yourself to sink deeply into your mat. Feels really, really good. Find a place that you can settle in and feel how the triceps stretch, the lats, this whole area. Really good for reversing all that sitting that we're doing. So just, again, allow the breath to take you deeper. Because the deeper you go, the more comfortable you become, the more comfortable you become, the deeper you go. slowly come on up let's move the feet out in front of us and let's stretch out the legs a little bit more so I'm gonna come into a wide-legged fold so my legs are just outside of the mat the bolster is right here to support and let's take a nice big inhale in and exhale stretch it all the way forward nice little relaxation right here And take another big deep breath in and slowly walk your way up. You're gonna place the bolster here and eventually your knee's gonna go on here. You're gonna lay onto your back for a nice twist. Pull the right knee in towards your chest and then gently take it all the way over onto the bolster just like this. And then I want you to open up your elbow. So notice how I'm laying forward here. And then I'm gonna open it up here just like that and then I'm gonna close it like this. You can say you're opening a book and closing the book. So we're gonna do that four times, four and close, three and two. And on that last one, we're just gonna hold and one, hold it right here and just relax. See where you can just let go Notice if there's any tension lingering in the body and ask yourself, do I need this tension right now? And if the answer is no, then just let it go. Good, and then come back into the center, bring your knee in towards your chest, and let's switch sides. So take that bolster over to the other side, just kind of roll it over yourself. All right, left knee in towards your chest, take it over, and let's do our open and close books four times.
now we're gonna go into our final pose, which is Shavasana. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bolster right here underneath our knees. And this is a really relaxing pose here. This really helps to elongate and stretch the low back. So if you have any back issues, this will help to alleviate that tension. I like to face my palms up in a gesture of receiving, or if you feel more like you need grounding, then place the palms down. So choose that. And then just deeply breathe in and out through the nose. And as you breathe, the deeper you go. And the deeper you go, the more comfortable you become. And the more comfortable you become, the deeper you go. Settling into the presence of your body. Realizing that the body is a present in itself. And to let yourself fill up with a full sense of gratitude. Feeling a warm, comfortable sensation all around and all through you. And you realize the more comfortable you become, the more confident you feel. And the more confident you feel, the more comfortable you become. And you find yourself every day feeling more and more confident, feeling at ease and comfortable in every part of your life. And it all began with a thought of feeling grateful for your body. Knowing that every day, you're giving your best to take care of your beautiful body. And let's take a nice big inhale in, reaching up over the head, stretch out through the toes. Feeling like you're waking up for the first time again today, counting up to five. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake, and begin to just walk yourself all the way up. And meet me here on your mat. Hands come towards the heart center, bow your head again in gratitude towards your beautiful body, feeling confident and strong in each and every way. Amazing job. I'm so proud of you for taking care of your body and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.